My hair is on fleek. My hair is laid. This is real hair. I don't have extensions. Yeah. I got proper blow dry today. <laughs> Let's get started. Hey guys, it's me, Leo Currently. Okay, let's get started with last night's highlights. Okay, the once the whole house was awake, housemates gathers gather around the couches. Um, Big Brother is giving Gemma a prize. She'll get a professional blow dry at the cost of no hot water and no appliances for the day. Gemma decided for the blow dry, she was like, I know the smart decision would be not to do the blow dry, but I want this blow dry. And then she was dictating the stylist on how to do her hair. She was like, you're doing a terrible job. This is not like a full X's blow dry. Like, she was like, I want some curls and shit. Like, <clears throat> the hairstylist only, like, really just used, like, the curling iron. No, she wanted, like, hair roller. She wanted a full X's Essex blow dry. And the press said that she was being rude. The fans were saying that she's been r being rude about it. I kind of agree, but... I agree. Like, I feel bad for Java and her extensions, but at the same time, I think it's... I, at the same time, I think it's hilarious. And because of the cold showers, Stephanie takes a moment in the diary room. Big Brother asked Stephanie if Gemma didn't... what would happen if Gemma didn't get hot water. And Stephanie would think Gemma would leave if if Gemma didn't get hot water. And Gemma still is like, I didn't get a blue, proper blow dry. It was, I wanted curls. I, you know, that's what she said. And at least Gemma's hair is clean to her. Stephanie opens up to Jeremy for always wanting to be loved. Gemma decides to help out in the house, but she wants her immunity winner card pinned to her chest. That was hilarious, and I did post that up online, and... People have started to like it and thought it was funny and just thought that Gemma was being all gobby and stuff. So, thank you, world. <laughs> that was a funny thing. I was thinking about making it the fucking uh, thumbnail, but I've had a better thumbnail. And then when Gemma starts peeling a potato, she like got a huge kitchen knife and then she cuts her thumb, showing through the bone, cuts herself. It went to the bone, blood splattered onto the cutting board. Gemma had to leave the house so that she could get stitches. Gemma and Tiffany are in the bathroom. Daniela cried and Tiffany comforts her because Daniela is crying because she misses her children. Once Gemma got back into the house, they went back into the, the whole house, went back into the uh, abandoned theater, the forgotten theater. And housemate Sans Gemma, Sans Gemma, Get two lives represented by a mini stage with curtains on their podiums. Big Brother asks ha questions about the housemates. Housemates who press the answer the question fastest will answer the question, and then they decide which housemate they want to have the curtains open on. Housemates with at least one curtain at the end of it is are are uh, safe. There's gonna be one housemate left. Housemates with both curtains open, they're they're still up for eviction. Last housemate standing wins immunity and a personal reward. And then um, Scotty T answers the first question, and he thinks that Darren would could win CBB. I think first and second place would be a strong Scotty T and Darren at this point. I agree. Stephanie keeps attacking Gemma during the task and forces Daniela out of being safe from eviction. Daniela didn't want, like, she didn't care about the immunity. What she really wanted was a gift from her children. And once Daniela was, became not safe for eviction, Daniela, Gemma, and Tiffany leave the large task room, and Gemma and Daniela leave again via the fire exit. Stephanie wins immunity from Tuesday's eviction and keeps sliding off Gemma. 
this is the funny part. Christopher thinks that Daniela is being played by Gemma. Gemma and Daniela talk to Big Brother after they you know, they calm down and they decide to go back into the house. They're feeling hurt about, because of what Stephanie is doing. Big Brother does not want housemates to leave by the fire exit. Daniela will only. Daniela has decided that the only way that, way that she'll leave is through the stairs, and Gem, Gemma decided not to leave the house. Gemma and Daniela apologize around the the housemates around the couches, and Stephanie was there. But I mean, they only really apologized to Scotty T, Darren, Jeremy, and Chris. They were playing charades, and Stephanie felt like slagged off again. Stephanie felt attacked and left out by Daniela and Gemma again. For her prize, Stephanie won a chips, fish and chips dinner for the house. I really wanted to have Stephanie be like to Gemma and uh, Daniela to uh, deny them dinner, but in the end, Stephanie wanted her mom. Daniela apologized to Stephanie and is willing to take over, talk over things at Stephanie's convenience. Gemma follows suit, but to the point where Gemma asked Stephanie if they can move forward. Gemma said, like, girls gotta stick together. Stephanie feels shit. She's lost her friends, really. Tiffany talks to Big Brother, surprised of the women making amends after Dan Gemma, Gemma and Daniela's exits. Tiffany is really uncomfortable with, of the makeup, and we know Tiff... Us Americans know Tiffany as, like, a firecracker. She's all for the drama. Gem Tiffany believes that Gemma followed Daniela's lead and didn't want to be on the outs with the rest of the house again. Gemma and Stephanie are totes deaf, not friends. And then, outside the diary room, when Tiffany leaves the diary room, Tiffany confesses her feelings to Darren and doesn't want to mention it to the rest of the house. Darren thinks Tiffany is drunk, and Darren said that he's happily married. But Tiffany Tiffany just said her true feelings and stuff like that. And then, um, I can't wait, because Tiffany makes out with two housemates. One of them's Jeremy. I hope is either Darren or Sky to you, the second housemate that she makes out with. Um, more Stephanie drama. More Stephanie drama. And we know that Darren is also going to be safe from eviction. So, I'll see ya.